Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to create and save as a PDF um, and print, if you wish to do that, um, reports within QuickBooks. Um, your assignments will likely um, have you create certain reports, save them as a PDF, and then in all likelihood upload that PDF to the Dropbox and FOL. So I'm just going to start uh, with a sample manufacturing company um, so that I can demonstrate how you go about making some of these reports that you'll be asked to make. Um, and each time you're asked to make a report, it's probably best if you save it as a PDF file. I think further on we'll um, actually save one as an Excel file, but for now uh, we'll save them as a PDF file. So we always start again from our home screen. Uh, the first report we're going to create is a trial balance. So always we go up to our reports menu, click on reports, and then um, there is a section called Accountant and Taxes. If you go down to that section, you'll see that there's a lot of the uh, reports, the typical reports that we will be producing um, when we complete an assignment. So trial balance is there, the ledger, if we need a ledger, um, the journal is there, any adjusting of journal entries. Um, we can uh, look on that list. That's where most of our reports will come from. So that's where we're going to go to choose trial balance. So click on trial balance. Um, we want a trial balance on this report as of November 1st. So I'm going to go um, up into my calendar, click on November 1st for both dates. So I want a trial balance as of that day. I'm going to click refresh and then as of November 1st, 2016 for this particular company. Uh, it has been uh, created with dates that are in the future. So I see that I have a trial balance as of November 1st, 2016, and now I'm just going to go ahead and widen my columns to make sure that I can see everything that is uh, within the column. Um, I can see that I have the debit and credit totals that balance, um, and then once the um, uh, the report is set up the way I want it, then I can go through the steps to create a PDF. To do that, I'm going to go up to the File menu and I'm going to click on Print Report. I'm not actually going to print it because what I'm going to do at this stage is I'm going to change the printer name to Adobe PDF on Documents. So I'm not actually going to print it to a printer. I'm going to print it to a PDF form. So what the computer will do is actually create uh, a new version of this document in a PDF form which I can then save or print if I wanted to. Also on this screen you need to pay attention to this bottom part, fit report to one page wide. Um, you will always choose that uh, when you're creating reports um, because if you're uploading them and I'm marking them uh, it needs to be on one page wide in order for me to be able to mark it properly. So you always want to choose that option fit report to one page wide and then click print and what um, QuickBooks is actually doing is creating a PDF version of your trial balance. Um, so it's um, it's not actually printing it out to a printer. It's creating a new uh, version of the report that you will then save um, onto your memory stick. So if you click on that, it didn't actually pop up on the screen, but it popped up down on your um, status bar at the bottom. It's the save PDF file as. So we can give it a name. So this is our trial balance. So I'm just going to type trial balance and then we can go find the file that we want to put it in. Okay, so in this case I'm just going to set it on my desktop. So it's trial balance and it's a PDF version and then you just click Save. And then QuickBooks saves. So Adobe PDF is saving a PDF version. You'll see it arrive on your taskbar at the bottom and you click on it and it'll, it'll open in the PDF version. So when you scroll through you can see that it fits on the one screen wide. You've saved it 
um, on your memory stick. So then you can just close it and you can close your report. You'll always get this message that says you've modified the settings for the report. Do you want to keep them? And in our case, we're going to say no. All right, so that's, um, that's the steps. I'm going to walk through them one more time. Um, I'm going to um, show you how to print another report. So this time, we're going to print a customer balance detail report. So again, we start from reports. And if we go to our uh, customers and receivables section, and then we want a customer balance detail report. Um, so we're going to just accept the, um, the default, which is all transactions. Um, and we're going to sort it by amount. So we want the highest to the lowest. Okay, and so that's, that's um, A to Z or Z to A. So we want to make sure it says Z to A because we want highest to lowest because we are sorting it by the amount. And so then again, you want to widen the columns. I need to be able to see everything in the columns. All right, the amounts. You want to make sure that everything is showing. So you widen your columns and then you're ready again to walk through the steps to create your PDF. So you go File, Print Report. You want to make sure that you change the printer to Adobe PDF. If that was the last thing you did, it probably is still there. You want to make sure that the check mark is in Fit Report to One Page Wide. And then you click Print. Your Save PDF File As comes up. This one is our customer detail report, customer balance detail. I'm going to put mine on my desktop. You likely would navigate to your USB and then I'll just click save. So QuickBooks makes a copy of the PDF so it tells you when the PDF has been created. You'll see it arrive on your taskbar. You can click on it and there it is. You'll see that it fits across on the one page might scroll down that way, but that's fine. I just need everything one page horizontally. So you've saved that one. Then you can close it. You can close out of the report. You can click no when it asks you if you want to memorize the report. And you're back to your home screen again. You'd follow the same process for every report um, that you're trying to print. Uh, the other one I want to show you is journal entries because up until now we were um, we were just using a customized report to look at all of our journal entries, but we're going to go and look at it a little differently right now. So you click on reports, um, and then you go back down to the accountant and taxes, and let's click on journal at that point. Okay, so you just get a little message that tells you that it collapses multiple items. That's fine. We want journal entries for November 1st to November 30th of 2016 for this particular file. Okay, um, You will be given dates when you're asked to create a journal report. Um, and I can just set the, uh, the default or you can sort it by date. It typically does anyway because it's a journal. Um, and then you go through and again, widen your columns so that everything that's in it, I can read. So I can see your, your journal entries and then I'm able to mark it properly. So you widen your columns and then you go through the process of creating your PDF file, print report, make sure Adobe PDF is chosen here, make sure you've got a check mark in the fit report to one page wide, click on print, and this one is called Journal Entries. Right? You would navigate over to your USB. I'm going to put it on my desktop and then just click Save. You'll see the Adobe PDF symbol arrives and there's your report. It's a little smaller in print because it had to shrink everything to fit it on one wide, but you can see how that makes it easier for me to mark because I can see everything horizontally. If I have to scroll through more than one page, that's not a problem, as long as I can see everything horizontally. And that's all you need to know on how to make and create PDFs of the reports that you'll be asked to upload.